channel where I make delicious and healthy recipes to inspire you every week. Now for this week, I've got this delicious chili con carne recipe. And honestly, the camera does not do it any justice. It is beautiful, it smells amazing, and it's super delicious. So if you'd like to see how I make this delicious recipe, stay tuned and I'll show you just how. So we're going to start by drizzling some olive oil into the pan, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, you want to go in with your onions. Okay, at this point the onions are starting to get nice and brown, we can go ahead and add the garlic. And you just want to go ahead and stir that and let it cook. Then we're going to go ahead and add our seasoning. So here I've got some cumin, some paprika, Mexican or Ghana. I'm gonna stir that in. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had food and you can taste that the seasoning was added right at the end. So the, the powdered spices and stuff were added at the end because it always leaves a very powdery taste. So you really don't want that. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat so this doesn't burn. But now you can see we've got some nice browning happening here. Okay, so we've got some of this minced beef in here. We're just going to add that into the onion, garlic and spices that we've got going. We just wanna go ahead and actually stir in the mince just to make sure that all the parts that are not cooked get nicely brown. Tinned tomatoes, so we can add that in there. tomatoes in there what we're going to do is to also add some stock and we just want to go ahead and stir that in okay so now what I'm going to do is to get some salt you could always add a stock cube instead if that's better for you and I like to give a little taste Just a little bit more. A little smidge. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's very, it's tasting good already. Okay, so I like to add some tomato paste into my chili con carne. And that is literally it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pop the lid on our saucepan. And we're going to leave it on a low to medium heat so it can cook. I'm going to make a cup of tea. Also, let me know, do you guys drink tea while you're cooking? Because I think it's become a tradition now. Like, if I'm cooking, regardless of what it is, I need to have a nice hot cup of tea. All right, guys, are you tea tetley or PG? PG tips? Tetley? Which one? Which one? <laughs> All right, my kettle has just done its thing, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here you have our fresh cup of tea, nice and hot, piping hot at that. Um, I don't quite understand the logic to this or why I do it, but I just like my tea to have that. Yeah, this is what I mean. You can just see it smoking away, steaming away. <laughs> and I'll still be here trying to cool it down so that I can actually drink it. Enough time talking, enough time chatting. It's been great connecting. However, we need to get to um, cutting up our coriander but yes for now let's do this guys first thing we need to do is to wash these get yourself a sharp knife you can get rid of about that, that much of the stems they're still pretty good so you can you can still use you can still use the stems and then going to just roughly chop them Stir them 
gently. Okay, at this point you're going to go ahead and add some of the coriander. There, you want to leave a few on the side to garnish at the end, so don't use all of it. You're going to give it a nice gentle stir. You can see it's already taking color, it's taking shape, it's looking good, and I can guarantee you at this point it will be smelling so, so good, your neighbors will envy you, but you know. If you're all about sharing and caring, make enough and share, okay? All right, so this is completely optional, but I am going to have some chili slices in my chili con carne. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this. We're going to add some of these chilies in here. I'm gonna leave some aside for garnishing later. Okay, last but not least, we're going to add our bar of dark chocolate. Don't worry, this is how it's done. You are absolutely in the right place. We are not doing science experiments. You can actually add this dark chocolate. It adds a bit more depth and also um, richness and just, just a nice consistency to your chili con carne. All right guys, it's a done deal. I'm gonna go ahead and make some fresh steamed rice and I am gonna try to keep my hands off of this chili con carne because it's just chef's kiss and the chef is me. <laughs> the audacity. Anyway, here's how it's looking. Garnish this with some coriander. Okay guys, it's time for the taste test. So I've plated up the food and I'm about to sample it on your behalf. I'm gonna take a nice, lovely bite of the chili con carne. It's super, super tasty. Um, I would definitely recommend making this if you already have it. Um, super fast. On a busy weeknight, this is such a quick fix-up type of meal. Doesn't take too much thinking. You have half of these things in your pantry or in your fridge, so you can just definitely whip this up. Um, I'm gonna have one more bite. <laughs> mm. Make sure you give this recipe a try. Um, but yeah, as always guys, I appreciate your support and encouragement on this channel. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and of course turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I post more delicious recipes like this. And hmm, if you want to see more beef recipes, you can click on this playlist over here. And if you want to see my more popular recipes on this channel, you can click on this playlist over here. But um, until next time, guys. <laughs>